Hello, good people of the internet. I'm smiling today. Why? Because we're at Netherfield and I have a fun guest today. I think I think that that is how this episode starts. And I, I mean, just a little bit barely. And it's because it used to be in my reel is why I remember barely any of it. Look, uh, that's, that's what I've got. If you want to support me, the show, Check out my Patreon, extended episodes, Q&As, cool stuff. My name is Ashley Clements. And my name is Jessica Jade Andrus, and this is The Look Back Diaries, ooh, LBD ooh. Part 2. LBD Part 2. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. So good yeah, to have you back. here. Excited to get into some more stuff with Caroline. In the last episode, you convinced Lizzie that it was a good idea to show everyone Bing, which was very devious because you're kind of setting up Lizzie to potentially then later um, get in trouble for that. Although, of course, it will also be on camera that you told me to do it. So I don't entirely, I don't entirely understand your motives, but you, you seem to have some kind of plan. I'm sure I had a lot of background going on when I did it, which I now don't remember at all 10 years later. You made her such a complex character. I will also say this to you. At just, this is my actor compliment to you. So often I would read the scripts and look at your dialogue in particular and go, I don't know how you make that sound like something a real person would say. And then you would say it and I'd be like, that's how, that's how you like, Wait, you may made... really, I'm trying to think of what I say now. I'm, now I'm intrigued. I have to actually listen to it. You made some of the dialogue that I didn't think worked work. So that's just it's... one of the many reasons that you were very much the right person to be cast as Caroline. Thanks. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, let's watch this yeah, episode. Yeah, let's watch it. I want to hear some of this dialogue now. I'm like, huh, I don't I'm remember gonna... if this is one of the episodes that, that I'm referring to, but let's look back. I do remember. Oh, you did start out the same way. Right. Yeah, see, because this was in my reel because it's one of the scenes that I actually did without cuts. Like I memorized it specifically for my reel so that's really my phone that was my purple phone case that's oh, yeah. what it looked Why? like no no props no i mean kitty gave us props but you know iphones are are more expensive and i obviously had one so it was just my phone because you know katie set up everything in the back she didn't really have a budget to buy like because that dresser doesn't look expensive but she didn't have a budget i'm anxiously waiting for a phone call from my mother well i never thought i'd see one that's the rumor you know we love having you here and before you and james showed up why don't we take a selfie i'm up for it the more the merrier i can't even see the camera oh i believe well for example that our chef is roasting a piglet tonight you know, normal rich people things to say. I mean, because like, ironically, also like this is being written by people who like, not, you know, none, none of us grew up uber rich. So it is also sort of like the imaginings of what it might be like right, with the yeah. uber rich. Um, just, you know, roasting a piglet. I do think having a chef would be, you know, that that's like. Right. That sounds acceptable. I wouldn't complain if someone else made the food. And here you are sort of goading me on. Yeah. Because also, I mean, I guess that's a lot of your motivation, right? Is to make me not Humility. like <laughs> Darcy. Yeah. This is the only time that I can think of that we used an audio effect. I do remember thinking this was fun, but also like, why in this very rich household is there a broken stained a spatula? spatula? <laughs> Like, where did, where did that come from? I don't know if that's just like from Jenny's or if Katie brought it, but it it was not a good uh, indication of wealth. <laughs> I also like how you actually get into the game. Like, like you have your own motives, but here you're also like, ooh, ooh, but I do want to win. I want to play, yeah. I do want to win a game. 
Yes. Now, this is all meant to mirror um, something in Pride and Prejudice that because he does have a list of like accomplishment or like I think it's to be an accomplished woman. There, there is like a list of stuff, but I don't know that our equivalents are great. It's just because I think in the in Pride and Prejudice, it is, it's about being able to like play the piano forte and uh, so and like, I don't know, it's just very different stuff. I did um, um, start rereading Pride and Prejudice when I got this part, I remember. I don't remember if I finished it or not, though. <laughs> I think I had to, like, you know, I, don't you have to read it in school? I feel like you do, right? I, I did. I mean, not everyone does because, you know, teachers can assign whatever they want. Yeah. But I read it in high school. I think as, I did also. As well as when I had to read and so when at I the beginning like, of this. Mm -hmm. Well, and Caroline's not heavily featured in the end. So to be fair to you, you were like <laughs> the, the classic the yeah. classic actor thing of like, mm, yeah. mm, my line. No, uh, my <laughs> It would also be fair if you were just doing your research to kind of read. Yes, that's a boy. I really, I really use douchebag a lot. I just, it's a, not a good insult. Um, it's, I know, oh, I really do remember this bit. That. Yeah, there are a lot of things that a, a lot of bits of dialogue have come up that are like, oh, we wouldn't say that now. Yeah, you do wonder how it would be different, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think that we would be more sensitive about a lot of things with language and, you know, just there we had him list physically fit as one of his, like, criteria for a, an accomplished or a good woman or whatever it was. And, like, I don't know that we would do that now because I don't love that. I mean, or oh, we're portraying him as called. being shallow, like. That's true. That's but true. he's not, so I don't. I, I mean, also, like, Darcy feels like a person who, like, may have sort of academically made that list because someone was like, what would you be looking for in a woman? And that he would, like, list a bunch of stuff as a way to sort of avoid, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about this, but here's my list if you yeah. <laughs> must. I don't wish to partake in this, but oh, here. Dear, here's an impossible list of criteria, so you can't set me up with anybody. Maybe it's that. I'm trying to remember that episode. I mean, I guess it'll be the same day that we filmed We filmed everything. We, al we always filmed in chronological order, though, right? Like, we did film in the order. Um, we did not always film we in chronological didn't? order because Ooh. we would film based on groupings of overlap oh, for other actors. actors. So because right. you were in episodes with Christopher, Sean, and also with Laura, and there's one in which... Oh, where she gets injured. That's right. Or she gets yeah, sick. sick. No, I'm wrong. I was going to say there's one with all four of us. But so you, what we would have likely done was try to schedule that so that, you know, Laura wrapped. But Laura overlaps with both of them. So at some point, like somebody would have had a little bit of downtime. It doesn't always work out perfectly. But yeah, we would have tried to kind of like lump together. But you are in most of the Netherfield arc. So you were there most of the day and well, we you would are have in my house that's true you know maybe we would have started with laura to knock out yeah all um, of her and then you know maybe her and bing and then overlap with you guys and then overlap so yeah i mean this the solo stuff that's just the episodes that are just you and i we would have either started with or ended the day with within that we would have then gone chronologically sometimes i can also tell by the makeup sometimes i can be like oh yeah, like, the makeup has gone? been built upon <laughs> or it's so like, like yeah but also you know we rehearsed and you also would have had some of these scenes in your audition packet they would have changed a little bit but so this would have been your first time in this space, but we would have practiced the mechanics of it pretty well. I do remember being, like when I got there for the first time to film, the format of it hit me <laughs> in terms of differentiating itself from other sets. And you're like, oh, this is weird. So it's all on me. Like, it's just, this is like theater. It, it is like theater in that way. Yeah, because you can't 
kind of, I mean, we did jump cut. There are cuts. You can cut around some things. But yeah, it's much more theatrical. And also in that you have to cheat out, right? Because the audience is over there. Your scene partner is over here. That's yeah. That's oh, yeah, what it is. Like that. Yeah. But most of us on this show did have a theater background. And I remember yeah. that that was something that Jenny was specifically looking for in casting, that she would look to see that people had theater experience. And you were fantastic. And let's let the comments tell us that as well. So Darcy's sister fits the profile. He thinks his sister is perfect. That's really sweet, actually. Aww. That was Allie Doxy. And that reflects the book as well. He has fond feelings for Georgiana. Mabel Pine says, what really kills me about this part is Darcy says a woman should read a lot when she is literally there reading Anna Karenina. <laughs> Jackie says, though I'm sure that Caroline is evil. I love her character. <laughs> um, uh, unless it's coming out. Daria Ungurianu says, you have a surprisingly good memory for what he said. Smooth, Caroline, really smooth. I forget nothing. Poor Lizzie didn't get it yet oh. normandy angel says am i the only person who thinks lizzie is obsessed with darcy yeah you're the only one <laughs> kathleen villanueva says it's a pity caroline's a big faker she and lizzie were actually fun together in an odd couple way but oh. it was still an act but i think it's interesting that, that you offer the perspective that it wasn't entirely an act right that like i don't know could lizzie and caroline have been friends if darcy wasn't interested in her like if darcy was interested in caroline and they were just together. Could we be friends? I think maybe because I feel like you would actually be friends with, that Lizzie would actually be friends with Caroline for, not for her money and not for like the connection. Yeah, you know? no. I mean, if our siblings are together, then it would be nice if we could all hang right? out. Like, that would be lovely. So. As long as you wouldn't outshine her. It would be chill. Mm, but yeah, there might just always be. But I don't know, like, would Caroline be different if she were just like really valued and cherished for who she was and she didn't feel like she had to prove anything? Yeah, maybe. We'll maybe. never know. We'll never know what could have been. But we do know that it was really, really fun to do this episode with you. Thanks. People would ask me during the series if I could play any other character on the show, which character would I want to play? And my answer was always Caroline. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh. Caroline. Yeah. Like, I'll show up. <laughs> That's just, it's fun. It's fun. And you had fun with it. And it was fun to watch. I know. It's really the only time I've gotten to play, like, a, to play mean, mean girl. It's Which really tells game. you, the audience, how far Jessica is from that. <laughs> I really had to stretch. I mean, like, I don't think they need me to tell them that, look, you're actually a nice person. Because I think it's very I'm apparent. Nice person. But, but I think every, I, mean, I still have that, like, you know, have that. Whereas I have actually gone on to play several Caroline-like characters, oh. so what does that say about? <laughs> no, but I, I I did finally get to like have my kind of mean girl fun. Yeah, I think when you've like really been mean girl, <laughs> that you're like, no, 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 I know how to play do that this. Part. Yeah, yeah, I I got this. Yeah. Thanks for being my evil counterpart. Thank you for having me. I hope you'll come back soon. Yes, I will. We're not done with Netherfield yet. <laughs>